Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. I have to have the AC on, so if, if you hear it in the background, I'm sorry, but it's been so hot recently that I can't even turn it off because I'm trying to film two videos, this one, and then my next Pen That Palette update, so I hope it's not too loud. Apologies. Got a lot to talk about in this up uh, in this be wow. Um, specifically, there's actually a new Natasha Denona palette that just got like showed today. I'm filming this on Monday, um, so let's jump straight to that. So yes, this is called the Glam palette. So it's a new palette from Natasha Denona. It looks like it is one of the smaller like $65 palettes and I know this is something that is going to be very exciting for people looking for cool tones. These are very cool tones and honestly it does look like basically a Natasha Denona version of the Soft Glam palette from ABH. Because I have Soft Glam and because I also have a couple of other... there's like a fly. Can, can you please do stop that? Because I have Soft Glam and because I have the Sultry palette I don't need this. Like looking at it it does look very pretty but I know I don't need it. Um, but this is going to be a great, I think, addition to Natasha's line of... This, I swear to god this fly is gonna bug me. I'm standing like this, just looking for the fly. Okay, like I was saying, I think this is going to be a good addition to Natasha's line of palettes because they don't really have a lot of cool tone options, at least in their palettes. Um, so I do think this is gonna be a great addition. I do like the smaller $65 um, packaging and product line. I think it's a much more accessible price point. I mean, it is expensive, but it's a lot less expensive than her $125 palettes, you know? So I think this is actually a good addition. I don't see anywhere that it's limited edition. It looks like it's going to be... I mean, I hope it's going to be a permanent part of their line. So if anyone was looking for a good, cool, toned, like, palette option, I think this is awesome. But I know, personally, for my collection, I know I don't need it. Hello, this is Editing VoiceOver Monica here, and I really wanted to point it out about this palette. I didn't realize it when I first looked at it, but um, they named these shades according to the way that you're theoretically supposed to use the palette. So there's shades called Center Eyelid, Smoke. Um, inner corner and it is this is also stupid because like there's four shades called center eyelid like they they could have just not named these shades in the palette to be quite honest but the ones that are like really problematic are the ones that say transition crease yeah so transition and crease looking at that transition shade I can't tell from like swatches and pictures whether that would even be a transition on me like I am milk i am pale as hell and that's that's a light light there's a very small fraction of the population which is that's going to be a transition for right same with the crease shade like ugh. and they could have just avoided this this could have just been a decent glam palette if they hadn't had put those labels on there i think that's just really really stupid especially when they're only coming out with one palette it's only that they're coming out with four glam palettes and they're going to change the shades for all of them i think that was a huge oversight and i am very disappointed in the way that they put this palette together. Um, I will say I do still agree with my past statement about how this is a good cool toned palette for Natasha Denona, but that was an oversight and they need to rectify that. That's just unacceptable. Speaking of Natasha, I forgot to go through my updates. So my main updates for now, um, I am finally trying to put together a full face of Pixie, or as close as a full face of Pixie as I can get, because I really want to try out Pixie and give you my full thoughts. I've been trickle purchasing products here and there but I really want to get a bunch of products all together so I did just place a big pixie order and um my good friend Victoria actually has a whole bunch of pixie products that she's not using and hasn't opened so she says she was going to send those to me so that I could test them all out so I'm really grateful for that so once I get all the products and I really want to take my time testing them out and then I'm planning to do a full pixie in-depth video about what's actually worth it from the brand other than that, I actually did just get um, a bunch of the, and by a bunch, I mean all, of the new Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows. I'm wearing this one on my eyes today. This is the shade Dragonfly, and it's, I mean, they're gorgeous. I'm, I'm doing full day wear tests, and I am going to do a full video. My downside of these is they're really good so far. I like them. They are pricey. But also, they said these are limited edition. And I don't know if that means actual limited edition, like they're only going to be available for a little bit and then they're going away completely, or if they're just saying that to get people to buy them. So, 
still a little bit iffy on that but I, I've been testing them and I have all five shades so I am going to be doing a video soon I just, I just don't want to rush it you know so that's it for updates let's move on to rare beauty it looks like a whole bunch of the products were released this is Selena Gomez's makeup line and honestly I'm just really not interested but it does look like they have a whole bunch of products right out the gate they have got a foundation a concealer uh, matte lipsticks a uh, blotting papers or powders, a lip balm, liquid blushes, uh, highlights, there's like a bunch of stuff. And it seems to be like in the mid-range pricing tier. If I wasn't just so burnt out on celebrity makeup brands, I might try something out. So far, the only thing that I'm kind of sort of into are the liquid blushes, but I can find the good blushes from just about any other brand right now, because that is very in vogue right now. So, yeah, uh... Yeah, to me, it's just another celebrity makeup brand. Oh, so Urban Decay is coming out with another Stoned Vibes palette. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a couple of people pick up the Stoned Vibes palette, but to me, it was just kind of like a meh palette. This looks like a mini version of it. I don't know. It looks like they might make it like a whole collection. Like they're going to come out with a highlighter and a lip gloss. Uh, it, it seems like a bit too much. It seems like they put all their eggs in one basket for this, and it's not really what I was hoping or expecting from Urban Decay, so just, yeah. Oh, I will just mention this real quick. I am seeing the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty mentioned um, on Trend Mood. I did do a live stream the other night um, going through in detail each day of the 21 Days of Beauty along with my recommendations for products. So if you missed that live stream, I'll have it linked up in the cards. Okay, so I think I'm one of the only people that like really hasn't watched Friends and has no urge or need to ever watch it. Maybe just because my name is Monica and I got a lot of people saying, oh, you've seen Friends, right? Um, I'm like, no, no, I have not. But it looks like they're collabing with Makeup Revolution, which I don't know. I've, we've, been, we've seen a bunch of kind of like random collabs like Hello Kitty and ColourPop and Sailor Moon. Some of those kind of make sense, you know? Like the Sailor Moon collab with Colourpop, that kind of made sense. Hello Kitty was a bit like, eh, but eh, okay, I guess I could see it. But like, Friends? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Ooh, so Lime Crime is coming out with some colored mas- Ooh, I look so pale right now. So Lime Crime is coming out with some colored mascaras, and I have to say, there's a bright green one that I'm like, ooh, I kind of want it. They're 20 bucks each though, and you know how I don't like spending more than a few dollars on mascara, so I probably won't ever get these, but I do like seeing different mascara shades like that. If I could just get that Essence Lash Princess mascara in just every shade under the sun, I'd be happy. Like, just give it to me in every color, I'll buy them all. <laughs> these don't look like new products. The pack- okay. So, KKW Beauty came out with a new collection, which I think the packaging is actually pretty unique. It's got, like, a bunch of pictures of, like, her friends and family, like, in a collage on it, which is actually pretty cute. I love the packaging. Um, but, like, the palette and the products themselves, it's, like, stuff that already exists in her line. Um, the face palettes do look cute, but I know I'm never gonna buy them. I'm just not. Ooh, so Melt Cosmetics. I don't know if I talked about these already. They're coming out with some new double-sided blushes that look gorgeous they look gorgeous i have i've been getting a lot of blushes recently though so i know i don't need any but they look very pretty and i love the packaging and i like the shades a lot especially like the peachy one man i want it but i don't need it so kaleidos makeup is coming out with a whole new collection now, the packaging looks stunning but i've never tried anything from this brand before and i have to say i really like the idea of like they have this face palette um that's like three different shades and you see like the bronzer is like the biggest shade and then it's got a highlight and a contour that's a little bit smaller i like that idea for a face palette but the rest of the products in here aren't really making me excited the packaging is stunning honestly looking at the packaging itself it's just gorgeous but i know i wouldn't need any of these products so shanta kai I tried a few Shanakai products a while ago and I actually had like a holy grail foundation from them that I ended up duping with the foundation I'm wearing today which is from Wet n Wild. 
um, but they're expensive. And I've noticed a, a couple of smaller, more older, not in a derogatory way, but some older um, beauty channels that I follow, like Teresa's Dead, um, and a couple other people have been just falling over themselves for like expensive, expensive makeup. And while I do think it's cool to splurge and get you some things every now and then, it just seemed like I was seeing like back to back videos about like expensive hauls and this really really expensive Chantecaille makeup and then I was seeing people linking a lot to like affiliate links where they're earning percentage commissions off of this expensive makeup so to me it kind of left a little bit of a taste in my mouth especially when like we're still in a pandemic like people are, are still most people are still struggling right now anyway uh, that's kind of the first place my brain went when I saw a new Chantecaille release um, I haven't bought anything from Chantecaille in a long time and I don't want to like police what anyone can and cannot buy. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that to me it just came off a little mm, in the nicest way possible kind of tone deaf. Just a little bit. Um, but that being said, uh, this palette actually looks gorgeous. Except for the brush. What is that brush in that palette? I don't know what that is. But I'm never going to buy it. I'm not really going to buy anything from Shatakai ever again unless it's like I don't know. I was going to say like for my wedding. I don't know if I'd go in there and get like my makeup done or something but like no not at least not anytime soon i'm pretty sure i roasted this before but we're gonna do it again this is the uh Too faced pumpkin spice palette so just first of all what in this is pumpkin spicy nothing that's the answer it is nothing this i don't know i feel like personally i feel like Too faced palettes peaked with the sweet peach palette that is one of my all time i saw the fly again that is one of my okay so the sweet peach palette is one of my all-time favorite palettes it is just put together so well the quality is spectacular i love the arrangement of the shades i love how versatile the palette is it's it's, it's amazing it's one of my favorite palettes ever but i feel like from then the palettes have just kind of went near near especially like there's ginger spice palettes like they kind of there were two palettes but they kind of look very very similar and then like this one like there's so many great ideas for like a pumpkin spice palette if you actually went in on the pumpkin a great example of an amazing pumpkin spice palette is from midas they have a quad which i kind of wish was a bigger like orange pumpkin spicy palette but it's actually orange and pumpkin spicy and i love it <laughs> um and i feel like if you're gonna do a pumpkin spice palette go all out like give me greens give me oranges give me a little bit of brown but not too much but a little bit of brown pumpkin spicy give it give it <laughs> but this is not it this is not the pumpkin spice that is in my heart so hollow taco came out with two new nail polishes uh, there's a Zyler and a menchi nail polish the menchi one the purpley one i know i wouldn't really wear so i'm not going to get that thankfully these are permanent i i do appreciate that she made these permanent nail polishes for her collection so eventually on the next restock i really do want to get the Zyler one because that to me is like the perfect pumpkiny fall nail polish that's i love it i, I want that one so bad and i, I felt happy that i didn't have to like rush the jump on it because i know it's going to be a permanent part of the collection so that's why i like it when people are upfront and honest about if things are limited edition versus if they're not <laughs> so i think it's really great i'm wearing hollow taco on my nails today i've been wearing hollow taco like for months if not almost a year because i think i got like the first set that came out over a year ago but i've been loving the nail polish it just works really well for me and i just really personally enjoy it so i really would recommend if you're interested in any nail polishes to purchase from hollow taco okay so i really don't understand who this is supposed to be for so Too faced is coming out with or has already come out with this palette that includes all three shades of their diamond fire highlight i did buy the first one when not right when it came out but when it was still fairly new and it's honestly just like an okay highlight I honestly bought it because I saw from the pictures and the way they were marketing it was I was like kind of like a multi-chrome highlight where like you had some pieces specks of blue and like green and no two swatches would ever be the same because there's so much inside of this diamond fire highlight and nothing to write home about not really it's not, it's not a great highlight it was way too expensive for what it was and it took them a long time to come out with more shades and as you can see there's only three shades available and in these pictures and in these swatches, it looks like I could use all three shades. So like, what was the point of coming out with shades if they're not even gonna work for like darker or any other complexions, you know? Like I'm Casper and if I could use all of these, then 
then what the fuck like let's just be honest why <laughs> other than trying to make yourselves look better which i feel like with Too Faced now everything they do it's kind of like they're putting their own foot in their mouth over and over and over but like mm, i digress and then also that brush i personally i don't like a big highlighting brush like that because i like to well, what's the word uh be strategic with my highlights i like very a controlled highlight application. I mean, this is gonna, that's a great br brush if you wanna like, highlight your shoulders, highlight everything. I don't do that. I wear black almost every damn day. So I'm not doing that at all. So I like a smaller brush just to highlight my face. So like, I'm not exactly sure what, cause the brush looks big in pictures and when someone's holding it, it looks fairly big. So like, eh, eh. Okay, so I kind of thought this was a cool idea, but I feel like it's like three years too late you know so this is a cut crease brush set i've never heard of this brand before this is by milops and cut creaser i have no i've not i have no idea what those brands are but the brushes actually look really cool and they would have been very useful like imagine if this had come out like right when you know cut creases were like the shit like 2016 2017 you know like now people still do a lot of cut creases but they're not like everywhere like they were before and even like i was still trying to get better at cut creases i'm not better at the um like the faux cut crease where like i pretend to do a cut crease but then i just like blend it out and like it's not really a cut crease that's what i've been doing a lot of lately <laughs> but like i feel like this kind of brush set like imagine coming out with this and then doing a tutorial with those brushes that would have been like the bomb back then i feel like at this point if you were really into cut creases you probably already bought other brushes recommended by people and i do that too like i saw um i think it's jessica rose makeup on instagram does amazing cut creases and so like i stalked her photo descriptions and, and found each brush that she was using for the cut creases and i bought all of them <laughs> i'm still not the best at cut creases but that's how i did it so i feel like by now people who really wanted to do a cut crease like that either already have brushes like that or they might not be in the market for this kind of set so while i do think it was a cool idea i just think it's it's a bit late into the game man i want this bl this blush palette it's a bit expensive but i want it this is from menagerie cosmetics and it is the authorine palette volume one and it's this beautiful blush palette i particularly want that nice like not orange Mm, what's, it looks like a pumpkin-y kind of shade I'll call it pumpkin but this looks like a beautiful palette they do sell these individually though so I might just be better off are you focused on my face they do sell these pans individually though so I might just be better off like getting that one blush shade as a single and then just adding it to the blush palette that I made with my pen that palette that's probably a better idea more economical what is that sorry i saw this picture and i like couldn't help myself so this is called the kiwi palette and it's from dd signature i've never heard of this brand but jesus do i want that palette i want this palette <laughs> oh and they've got a strawberry one the strawberry one doesn't look as nice I've got an orange one too I, I just want the kiwi one look at the greens look at those it looks gorgeous. I want this so bad. It's only it's twenty seven ninety nine, which is a bit up there, but not too expensive. I want it. Okay, and you know what? I thought there was gonna be more, but that's kind of everything that I see that I want to talk about. And who is revving their car at eight thirty p.m.? Excuse you, good sir. It is a Monday night. Yeah. Okay. So that's about it. I feel like I'm a bit burnt out from going through the whole 21 days of beauty yesterday in that live stream. It was a lot of fun, but I talked for like an hour and a half straight. So make sure you check out that live stream if you missed it. And let me know down below if there's anything that I missed that you want my opinions on or if you uh, blah, 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 blah. If there's anything I missed that you want my opinions on, let me know in the comments and I'll either answer in the comments or I'll save it for the next Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.